Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm gonna cover some crow and side crow stuff. Um, so as always, I recommend that you get really warm before this practice, because we're kind of just diving into the middle of it. Uh, but I'm gonna go over the skills and techniques that I personally use in my own practice for you guys to dive in. I've got Megs and Jess today, and they're gonna be helping me out. So when you're ready, you're gonna start on your backs. So as you start on your back, just gonna lay down for a second for like a really, really, really brief Shavasana. And then your Shavasana is done, so let's move on. You're gonna zip up the legs together, and then you're gonna send the arms up and back behind you. So that as you start to send the arms up and back, I want you to glue from the heels all the way up to the groin so you have one long leg underneath. So with that long leg, lightly push the navel down, but I don't want you to take the curvature out of your low back. So you wanna keep the spine as it normally would rest. And then feel the left and the right side of your rib cage pull into the center line of the body. When you exhale here, you make a big shushing sound with your breath so that you actually start to engage a little more core. So think from navel to groins is where you're trying to fire up. You'll take a deep breath in, then as you exhale very lightly, shush, lift your heels about two inches, lift your hands about two inches, and at the same time, try to reach your fingertips even further back. Turn your palms up towards the ceiling. You're here for three. Yep, you got it for two. And then one. Inhale, start to lower down. Take a little breather. And then exhale right back up, lift, three. You got it for two, nice. And then one, bring it back down. Any low back stuff yogis, you can always bend your knees. Take a deep breath in, exhale, lift it up, three, two, one, lower down. As you start to lower down, go ahead and bend your knees. You can keep your arms up and over your head, bottom of the feet down on your mat. Now. We're gonna program the body to find Bakasana and Parjra Bakasana now so that it's a little more smoother when you get into it later. So soles of the feet together to touch. Knees open, but not all the way. And then as you start to bring the knees open, you'll take a deep breath, inhale, while you shush. Exhale, send the arms forward, and then take the arms to the insides of the knees there. Now push the ceiling or the wall that's in front of you, wherever your hands are facing, away, and then start to feel the legs connect to the arms, and then the arms push back into the legs. Now lift the arms up just a little bit higher for three. Good, you got it for two. We're gonna add on for one. Inhale, send that back, lower the knees lightly, bring them together to touch. Then as you exhale, take your knees to the left and then send your arms to the right. So now the right thigh is connected to the left arm, the left arm is connected to the thigh, and then lift your right hand four inches further out. Push there for three, side crow or parjva bakasana for two. And then one, inhale, bring that all back to neutral. So feet down, arms back, nice ladies. And then as you exhale, knees to the right, arms go to the left. Connect your right arm into your left thigh and then send your left hand four inches further out. Why four inches? I don't know, just a few inches out. Last three, two, and then one. Inhale, come down and back. One more to center, exhale, knees wide, arms on the inside. Now push, yogis, the knees into the arms. So that's first and then push the arms back against that. That's gonna help you balance. You're here for three, for two, and then one, lay down on your back, knees come into the chest. Now ideally at home, I want you to build up to about 10 of these, right? So if today you do two and you're cooked, go, go for it. If you do tomorrow, three, next week, four, so on and so forth, but 10 ideally, so you can hit pause on this video whenever you need to, and then meet up with us. And then after you're done taking care of the low back, few small circles, one direction, or after you're done with that, we'll take care of the low back and then a few small circles the other direction. And then you're gonna bring that back to center and then just start to make your way up and over to tabletop position. So hands and knees, all fours. Take your time getting there, there's no rush. As you start to make your way up and over to tabletop yogis, I want you to start to warm up the wrists here. So turn your right wrist crease forward. The fingertips are facing your body. Now the fingertips and the ball mount of the hand touch down, but the heel of the hand stays up. Super important here, you wanna bend your right elbow backwards with the heel of the hand, try to push the mat forward. With the body itself, lean back, stay there, and breathe. So again, a little bit of sensation here. You're not forcing anything. You're more so welcoming movement into the body, right? And again, always taking care of the wrist pretty much any time you're gonna do a vinyasa-based class, just because they tend to absorb most of the weight. Doing the last couple rounds on this side. We'll take one more big breath in. And then as you exhale, you're gonna undo that and then switch it. So the left wrist crease is gonna turn forward. And again, the fingertips and the ball mount of the hand push the mat forward. The heel of the hand stays up. You bend the elbow back and then sit back just a little bit, or rather lean back. 
Remember, nothing is ever forceful and you never want to rush anything to get there. You're just kind of telling it, hey, this is the general direction I want you to go in. And then you'll undo that. So left hand comes back to neutral. Now take the top of the right hand, flip it down into the mat. And then with the top of the right hand, try to push the mat forward with the body lean back against that. Mm -hmm. Good, nice. How's that feeling so far, ladies? Good, nice. Thumbs up so far. <laughs> All right, then you're gonna undo that and now top of the left hand down on the mat. And again, with the hand, try to push the mat forward with the body, lean back just a bit. So again, not forceful, but hey, a little welcome movement here. Couple rounds here to breathe. And then when you're ready, you'll undo that, tabletop position. Good, now from tabletop, we're gonna find the same action that your body is gonna take when you arm balance. So, a pretty simple cat-cow. When you're ready, inhale, you're gonna drop the belly, raise the gaze, and look up. Now you'll pause for a second with your fingertips. I want you to try to claw into the mat. And then as you try to claw into the mat, broaden your chest so the collarbones get really, really, really wide. Think of like a smile going across your chest. Then as you exhale, push firmly into the ground, bring the chin into the chest. Now curl and round your upper back. Pause here in this shape. For a second, I want you to keep cat pose in the shoulders. And then start to flatten out a little bit of the lower back and the mid back. Feel that push. Good. This is the same shape you're gonna take when you arm balance in crow and side crow. So just try to memorize this. And then just a couple flows on your own yogi. So inhale, drop the belly, raise the gaze, look up. Then as you exhale, tuck curl in and round. Good, and then just a few more rounds. So inhale, you'll drop the belly, raise the gaze, look up. I'm gonna give them their close up. And then exhale, you tuck, curl, and then round. And then again, inhale, drop the belly, raise. This is their moment, you guys, their moments. And then tuck, curl, and then round. Good, now when you're ready, you're gonna inhale, come back to neutral. And as you start to come back to neutral, yogis, take a seat back either in your heels or into your hips. A little bit of a child's pose, so the arms are gonna go forward for just a second here. Yeah, and then as you start to come into child's pose, Fingertips now push the mat away so the arm bones begin to strengthen. But mainly, I want you to focus on how straight the arms are and how the fingertips are starting to connect. Now keep that, inhale, rise on up, tabletop position, all fours. Exhale, real quick, brief downward facing dog, and then get cozy and down dog. So bend your knees a couple times, shake out the hips, wiggle around a bit, do the things that are gonna feel good and support your body. Mm -hmm. And then a really quick mini flow here, we'll call it, to say, but just to get the body more prepped. Inhale, I want you to reach your right leg up and back in space for a three-legged downward facing dog. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bring the knee to the nose, you're gonna curl and round the chin to the chest. Then on the inhale again, you're gonna reach the right leg up and back. And then as you exhale, this time, exhale, bring the right knee out towards the right armpit, float it off to the side. Good, then, then this time, inhale, reach the right leg up and back for a three-legged downward facing dog. Then as you exhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands, you're gonna turn and ground the left heel flat. So you ground the left heel flat, I want you to rise on up for a warrior two, so the arms are gonna come up and out like the letter T. Now as you start to find your warrior two yogis, give your feet a nice good push. So as you start to push into the ground, the hips begin to lift up a little bit higher. And as you start to lift the hips up higher, you'll take a deep breath in. On the exhale, feel like you're trying to squeeze the inner thighs into the center line of the body. So again, we're finding the hips coming into center. Another one just like that, big breath, inhale. Then as you exhale, feel that squeeze come into the body, good. Now turn your gaze over towards the left side of your mat. So you'll gaze over, again, you guys will gaze over towards me. As you gaze to the left side, bring your arms up and out like cactus or goalpost arms, good. As you start to find your cactus or goalpost arms, I'm gonna ask you to take the forearms together in a second. While you do this, you're gonna pretend like you're swimming through honey or molasses, so something is stopping you from bringing the arms together. So here we go. You'll take a deep breath, inhale, the arms go nice and wide. Then as you exhale, hug your ribs, start to bring the arms together, squeeze everything for five. You're gonna hug it in two, and then a big one. Now push from elbows all the way to pinkies, round your upper back, push, 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 push. Good, let's do three more just like that, rather four more. Inhale, open everything up. And then as you exhale, push, 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 and then round. And then three more, please. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, take it back to center, push, 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 and then round. The last two, open it back up. And then exhale, push, 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 and then round. Here's your last one, open it back up, inhale. Exhale, push, 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 and then round. Now pause, inhale, take the arms back up and open. As you exhale, yogis, eagle bound arms to your right. So that means you're gonna slide the left elbow on top of your right elbow. You're gonna cross at the forearms and the wrist. 
Now I have them facing you to start, or rather their backs facing you to start because I want you to notice what happens in the upper back. While you're facing or, or holding your eagle bound arms, I want you to draw the elbows up to at least the shoulder's height and then push the elbows away from the face. Now if you can't hold on to your elbows like this, or rather your hands like this, give yourself a great big hug, it'll work the same. To warm the shoulders and find the shape again, inhale, you'll lift your elbows, lift your gaze, look up. Then as you exhale, like cat pose, curl round and then crunch, feel the shoulders drop. Then again, inhale, lift it back up. Elbows go high up towards the ceiling. Then exhale, you're gonna curl round and then crunch. And then here's the last one. Inhale, you're gonna lift everything back up. Exhale, curl round and then crunch. Good, then inhale, take it back up. Open up the arms, back out. Warrior two. Exhale, hands come down. Runner's lunge, frame your right foot. Inhale, lift your gaze, look forward. Exhale, bring the left foot forward to meet the right. Now take it up halfway. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, down to the toes, hinge from the hips. Now start to bend into the knees. Scoop the floor and sit low for Utkatasan, fierce pose. Sometimes we call it chair pose. And then right away, yogis, we're gonna ditch the hands and bring them straight to the heart center. Now you're gonna pull the lower belly in and up as you lift through the heart. Then exhale, prayer twist to your right. So the left elbow is gonna hook across the right knee. Now notice that your left hip may wanna take over and start to swing out. If that happens, see if you can encourage the left hip back. The more you squeeze the inner thighs here, the better it actually is, and the easier it's gonna to feel to find that side balance again. So take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, we'll push the palms and twist. Again, just like that, one more big breath in. Exhale, twist. Now undo all of that, find a forward fold down to the earth. And then it'll be your choice today if you decide to flow or not, but inhale, I'll offer it flat back. Exhale, hands down. Chaturanga, you can jump step or walk back, or you can skip it, go straight to down dog, knees, chest, chin, whatever feels best in your body. Take your time with all this stuff. You don't wanna force any of it. And then once we get into downward facing dog, we'll take a deep breath, inhale from here. Exhale to hold it. Then inhale, left leg's gonna go up and back for a three-legged down dog. Exhale, we'll bring the knee to the nose, curl and round the chin to the chest. And then inhale, we'll bring the left leg up and back again. Then as you exhale, this time bring the left knee out towards the left armpit or elbow, as high as you can get it, the better. Then as you inhale, left leg comes up and back one more time. Exhale, we'll step the left foot forward between the hands, we'll turn and ground the right foot flats. Then inhale, rise on up to standing, warrior two, arms come up and out like the letter T. So same, same here, guys. I want you to get cozy in warrior two. Two hips are in one line. As the hips start to line up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, look towards the right long edge of your mat. So the chin is in line with the heart, good. Now send the arms back up and out like cactus. And as you start to send the arms up and out like cactus, first, find your checklist. Are the inner thighs still pulling in and up? Is your lower belly still starting to lift? Now here comes that really thick honey or molasses, right? So something is stopping you from coming forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring the elbows together. Five, four, you're gonna hug in three, two, and then push, 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 round the back. So chin into the chest. Good, four more just like that. Inhale, open it up and expand. Then exhale like I'm resisting you, right? It's almost like I'm stopping your elbows from coming forward and you're pushing against that. Three, two, one, hug it all back in. Three more yogis, inhale, open it back up. And then as you exhale, take that all back in the center. Good, a big push at the top. Then last two, inhale, open it back up. Exhale, bring it in together. A big hug at the top, just curl the belly, hug the ribs. Here's your last one, inhale, open it back up, broaden. Then as you exhale, start to bring it together for three. You got it for two. And then want a big hug, curl, curl, curl. Now inhale, come back up. Lightly separate the elbows, eagle bound arms to the left. That means the right elbow is coming on top. Either cross at your forearms and wrists or give yourself a great big hug, it all works the same. Now don't lose the core that you've started to build, right? So inhale, we'll lift the elbows, we'll lift the chin straight up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, you're gonna tuck, curl, and then rounds. So again, inhale, we'll lift the elbows all the way back up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, we're gonna tuck, curl, and then round. And here's that last one. Inhale, we'll lift the elbows straight up towards the ceiling. Exhale, tuck, curl, and then rounds. Then when you're ready, inhale, come back up, open it up, warrior two. Exhale, bring the hands down, runner's lunge, and friend your left foot. Inhale, you're gonna lift your chest and look forward. Then exhale, step your right foot forward to meet the left. Now halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, come down to your toes. Then bend your knees, sit low. Inhale, Utkatasana, fierce pose. Exhale, bring the palms again right at the heart center. On the inhale, I want you to lift your chest, look up. Exhale, turn and twist to your left. So the right elbow goes over the left knee. So continue to work the breath as you work the twist. 
Ch uh, twisted Chair is going to be a really, really, really great setup to get into Parshva Pakasana in just a bit. Inhale, we lengthen the heart forward now. Exhale, we push the palms and twist. Again, big breath inhale through the nose. Exhale, push your palms and twist. Last one, full breath inhale. Exhale, we twist and then slowly undo all of that. Forward fold, go down to the toes. Take a big breath inhale, halfway lifts. Exhale, yogi's choice. Walk step or jump back. Chaturanga, knees, chest, chin, or skip it. Take your time with it. We'll get there when we get there. Now, if you have a block at home, I recommend you picking up a block. You might want to use it at some point for, uh, use, uh, for going into your crow pose. We'll start with crow step by step, and I'll give you guys a little moment to break it down. So while you start to rest in downward facing dog, I want you to spread the fingertips nice and wide. Then as you begin to spread the fingertips nice and wide, keep that weight shifted to the index finger and the thumb, or what I like to call the inner triad of the hands. From there, you're gonna take an inhale to look forward at your hands, pause. As you exhale, I want you to walk your feet about a palm's distance away from your wrist. As you start to walk the feet about a palm's distance away from the wrist, so go ahead and walk it up, Megaposa. That's it, good. A slight bend in the elbows back, just to start. Now hug the knees to the outer edges of your armpits and then start to come onto the ball mounds of the feet. Before you go any further, if you need a block at home, you'll take it the tallest setting possible so that it acts as uh, like a little bit of a break, right? And we'll actually get a block to show you in a moment. But before you go any further, can you start to feel the knees hug in towards the arms and the arms come into the knees? Let me reach for my magic block. You like that. <laughs> block will act as a little break. When you use the block, really it's only the forehead that's gonna come touch it, not the top of the head. So you might wanna play around with how far forward you go with it. Then when you're ready, the knees are gonna hug into the arms, the arms push back into that. Then lift your lower belly in and up. As you're ready, maybe the one set of toes comes up. Maybe the second set of toes comes up. And then when you're ready, maybe both sets of toes come up and even block down to the mat. Now Meg can stay here with bent arms, that's not bad or eventually in her practice, she may start to work into straighter arms while she continues to hug the knees in. So it's all about that wrapping and squeezing in sensation of the body. Good, we'll stay here for five, for four, for three, nice. Good work guys, two, and then one, just step back to down dog and a quick child's pose to breathe. Yeah, hang out and recover. Easy does it, there's no rush, there's no race. Yeah, take a couple breaths, catch back up. So we'll move into the second arm balance and then we'll call it a practice for today. Do me a favor, take a nice big breath, inhale through your nose and then an open mouth to exhale, let it all go. Another one just like that. Big breath, inhale to fill it up. Exhale, let it all go. Here's your last one, big breath in. Exhale, let it go. All right, let's find that build up for Parjva Bakasana. Inhale, come on up to all fours, tabletop. And then as you exhale, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, you'll come into downward facing dog. From down dog, take an inhale to look forward at your hands. And as you exhale, walk, step or jump to the top of the mat, feet as close together as comfortable. For the sake of this practice in the demo, I'm gonna have both of them turn and face you guys. So go ahead and turn and face the fronts. Yeah, awesome. Then on an inhale, we'll find a halfway lift. So Ardha Uttanasana, exhale to bring it down your toes. Okay, here comes the magic. Inner thighs already start to squeeze them in. This is gonna save you later on. Bend the knees, inhale, scoop the floor, Utkatasan, fierce pose or chair pose. Then as you exhale, right away, bring the hands to the heart center. Couple things I'm gonna talk about on the way down, so take your time with this. Inhale, lift your chest, look up. Exhale, turn and twist over to your right. Now as you start to set up towards the right, yogis, I want you to take your hands and drop them off to the right side. As you start to drop them off to the right side, here's what tends to happen. We love to dump the chest and bend the elbows before we actually start to lift the hips. So before you do that, I actually want your hips to start to turn on and rise. Then bend the elbows back. So now that your inner thighs are squeezing, your outer hip is already starting to do the work. Maybe flat hands on the mat, Megs. Maybe one set of toes comes up. Maybe both sets of toes come up. Allow yourself to find the balance. Legs can stay straight together or knees bent up to you. Hold that as long as you can, maybe five, four, that's it. Three, two, and then a quick recovery. Forward fold, bend the knees, reach for opposite elbows, sway side to side, give yourself a little shake out. You'll move on to your second side when you're ready. 
And until next time, yogis, have fun playing around with these arm balances. As always, questions, comments, feel free to reach out. Namaste. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, subscribe, comment, like, and share, and tell all your friends so that I can continue making more yoga videos for you guys. Until next time, you rock.